Imagine a castle nestled amidst majestic mountains, surrounded by the ethereal beauty of nature. Welcome to Castle Neuschwanstein. Perched high in the Bavarian Alps of southern Germany, this architectural marvel looms over the landscape, casting a spell of awe and wonder. Its towering spires and intricate embellishments are a testament to a time of knights and fairy tales, a time that seems to have been captured and preserved within these stone walls. The castle's enigmatic aura is palpable, its secrets hidden within the grandeur and the mystery that shroud it. Its allure draws in countless visitors each year, each one eager to explore the castle's many rooms and unravel the stories they hold. The castle's beauty is captivating, its charm undeniable. But beneath its enchanting facade lies a history that is as fascinating as it is enigmatic. This is not just a castle, it's a journey into a fairy tale that came to life. The story behind Castle Neuschwanstein is as intriguing as the castle itself. This magnificent creation was born from the vision of King Ludwig II of Bavaria. Known as the Fairy Tale King, Ludwig was an ardent admirer of the arts, particularly drawn to the operas of Richard Wagner. This deep love stirred within him a desire to craft a dwelling that mirrored the grandeur and romance of Wagner's works. The castle was designed as a personal refuge for the reclusive king, a place where he could escape the prying eyes of the world. Every stone that was laid, every tower that was erected, was a testament to the king's longing for solitude and his passion for the arts. The castle wasn't just a mere architectural project, it was the manifestation of a dream. An ambitious project that took over two decades to complete, it was built by personal fortune, not by public funds. Thus emerged a castle from the dreams of a king, a castle that would later become a dream for many. A mere glance at Castle Neuschwanstein reveals a masterpiece of architectural brilliance. Its turrets reaching for the heavens, its white limestone facade gleaming in the sun, and its stunning vistas over the Hohenschwangau Valley are nothing short of breathtaking. The castle embodies Romanesque revival architecture, a style that harks back to the Europe of the 11th and 12th centuries. But don't be fooled into thinking this is a simple throwback. The genius of this design lies in its fusion of past and present. The castle may look medieval from the outside, but its interior was ahead of its time, equipped with running water, central heating, and even an electric bell system for summoning servants. The heart of the castle, the throne room, is a sight to behold. A Byzantine-inspired spectacle. It is adorned with frescoes of angels, a massive chandelier shaped like a crown, and a floor mosaic featuring animals and plants. Though it lacks an actual throne, King Ludwig II passed away before it could be installed, the room's grandeur leaves no doubt about its royal purpose. The Singer's Hall, dedicated to Richard Wagner and his operas, is another marvel. This grand hall, with its ornate wood carvings and expansive frescoes depicting scenes from medieval legends, is as much a testament to Ludwig's love for music as it is to his architectural ambition. And let's not forget about the castle's unique features. An artificial cave, complete with stalactites, a colourful grotto and a hidden door, adds an element of whimsy to the stately castle. From the castle, the panoramic views are nothing less than spectacular. The Bavarian Alps, the shimmering Alpsy Lake and the rolling green meadows offer a feast for the eyes and a balm for the soul. Every corner of Castle Neuschwanstein is a testament to King Ludwig II's love for art, grandeur and perfection. This architectural marvel, standing tall amidst the Alpine landscape, is a vivid reminder of a king's dream brought to life. The tale of Castle Neuschwanstein continues to captivate, even after centuries. This Bavarian wonder, perched on a rugged hill, has not only been the subject of countless photographs, but has also become a beacon for travellers from across the globe, drawing millions each year. It's more than just a castle, it's a fairy tale brought to life, a testament to the human imagination and a symbol of idealised romantic architecture. And speaking of fairy tales, did you know that Castle Neuschwanstein was the inspiration for the Sleeping Beauty Castle in Disneyland? Yes, indeed, the magic of this castle extends far beyond its stone walls, influencing pop culture and igniting imaginations worldwide. Its legacy is a rich tapestry woven with tales of kings and queens, dreams and dramas, art and architecture. 
Castle Neuschwanstein stands as a timeless monument forever etched in the annals of history and in the hearts of those who visit. To encapsulate the splendor of Castle Neuschwanstein in mere words is no easy feat. It is more than a castle. It is a dream, a vision, a testament to the romantic era of architecture. Born from the imaginative mind of King Ludwig II, this architectural marvel stands proudly amidst the Bavarian Alps, its majestic turrets reaching for the sky. Its creation story is an epic tale of ambition and grandeur, intertwined with the king's deep love for art and music. The castle's intricate design, rich with symbolic elements and references to Wagner's operas, continues to captivate and inspire. The legacy of Castle Neuschwanstein extends far beyond its stone walls. It has become a symbol of romantic architecture, an embodiment of fairy tale fantasies. From a king's dream to a symbol of romantic architecture, Castle Neuschwanstein is truly a fairy tale etched in stone.